Hi, Stanley Prannon here. I'd like to take a moment to explain a bit more about my Zone Theory of Aikido course. I believe this approach will be new for most practitioners, but I think you'll find it intuitive once you understand the underlying ideas of the Zone Theory. In this excerpt from Lesson 1, I describe the basic concepts of spatiality and positioning that determine the most advantageous position to be in to execute a successful Aikido technique. How I arrived at this theory and why it works are explained in this clip. Please have a look. Here's the theoretical bench. So stand in the Shizen pot, natural stance. Okay? Many schools of Aikido, many teachers will insist that you start this way, not from Hami. Okay? If he extends his arms out here, about 160 degrees. Okay? I call this his control zone. Okay? Why do I call it that? He can reach me. Here. If he has the ability to execute kicks, he can do that from here. Okay? And you know, whatever reach he has, he will extend beyond his hand. So his effective control zone may be a little, a little longer. Someone who does not know how to uh, kick or can punch, this is their effective zone. Now notice what, what else is going on. Not only am I within his reach, he also has very good vision. You can see me, this is right there. So when you get to Kuguraza, when judo and things like this, you're facing your partner. Okay? And they have rules, you can't kick them or you can't headbutt, things like that. But you do all your work from here. Okay? Now let's say that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start walking. I'm gonna walk in a circle in the park. You see me? You look straight there. You see me still? Can you see me clearly? No. It's starting to blur. Can you see me here? It's all this area here. And I'm going to need any movements. Here's where I'm in. Now let's say that I bring him forward one foot here. Okay, he's in Hami now. Keep your arm extended there. It's the same 160 degrees, but there's something different here. Okay? This hand is not very effective. It's out of the picture because it's distant. Okay? And you move him in an arc like this. And notice what happens. His peripheral vision starts here and goes out. But he's already. See, if he moves his head this way, the amount of return that he has left is minimal without moving his foot. So, you're looking forward to where I was here, look at me, okay? Now, I'm gonna go out of his sight sooner because his frontal one is based out this way. And I have actually more easy access to behind me here. And now let's look at this. Let's say, bring my partner here and pull him. Okay, I can maybe pull him off now so he can step into it, and at any time he can threaten me. Both hands, whatever it is. I do not want to get in this. Okay, however, with here, <laughs> it takes almost no power, whatever, but I have to get in position to do that. Okay? So look, look here, let's say I begin moving this way, here. Please look now. But look what happens. Here's a realization I have. Here. If I do something like that, I'm in the same area. But what's happening? What is different about Uda? The difference is the initiative, the timing of the attack. In Japanese, it's a, the concept is used in many different arts. You have go no sen, sen no sen, sen sen no sen. Go no sen means late initiative or after initiative. In other words, partner initiates. Sen no sen we would probably call awase. We have a blend. We're both moving together. We don't try to cultivate this in Aikido very much. But then there's a higher level, it's called Sen Sen Sen. This means the initiative before the initiative. 
And the, the concept really is controlling your partner before they initiate the physical attack. So for example, if I say, hey, just stand up there. Okay. okay. He didn't really, in any meaningful sense, he didn't attack me at all. I tried to set up the attack with the timing. Okay? If, if he comes here, if he initiates, I have to respond. My response time is in milliseconds now. If I get caught in a situation like that, I'm going to have to salvage the technique. Okay? So, first thing I would like to do with you is I would like you to get a partner, stand up first, this is end time, stretch out your arm the bottom 160 degrees. Have your partner walk out here, you look straight forward, find out about when he begins to lose sight of you. Okay, would you do that please?